then placed me at the Biddulph High School doing PGCE Biology. I've always had an interest in biology. I wanted the opportunity to be able to teach children about the natural world as well, show them how things work, why they work and how amazing humans, plants and animals all are. So do you understand what's happening where the water wants to go from a high concentration to a low concentration? So in that case then, when we've got two different solutions, we've got a strong sugar solution on one side and a weak on the other, what he wants to do is go to where there's less water. My pupils inspire me because they're all amazing, they're all individual, they've all got their quirks. They've all got things they're good at and things they're not so good at and it's up to me to show them that they can do it and show them a way of getting there. So we already looked at diffusion. Diffusion can happen in what? Just two things it can happen in. Can you remember? Liquids and gases, brilliant, okay? The rewards of teaching are knowing that you're coming to work every day, it's never the same, doesn't matter if you've planned the same lesson 20 times, something is always different. We are trying to encourage the pupils to enjoy science and you're passionate about it and knowing that that comes through when they can tell you the answer by the end of the lesson is amazing. So we're going to run through the experiment, you need to listen carefully. You'll be in groups of four. So we're going to be working with potatoes, okay, and we're going to look at osmosis. To be a good teacher, you need to have good personal skills. That means that you need to be able to talk to the pupils, the parents, or the teachers, maybe even the head teacher. In terms of professional skills, you need to be flexible, you need to be punctual, you need to be reliable. You also need to be really hardworking and driven. And if you are, that will show through in your teaching and the pupils will love you for it. Yep, so if you measure those all to be two centimetres, yeah, yeah. yep, put them in and then keep an eye on the clock, 10 minutes, okay? I'd recommend a biology PGCA for all of those keen biologists that want to tell the pupils about how the world works, how we function, how do we breathe, how do we respire, why can't we live without plants. There's so many things that biology helps us to explain. Everyday things all around us gives the pupils the opportunity to start to understand it and realise how amazing the world actually is.